Hello everyone. Um, we're so thrilled to have Norba Day, founder and CEO of Edmates, um, one of the most notable EdTech players in the Middle East today. Um, it's great to speak to her and I'm really looking forward to find out more. Um, welcome, Noor. Thank you, Sarah, and thank you for this opportunity. Very excited to be speaking with you today. <laughs> great. Um, so why don't you tell me a bit about your journey so far? Um, what led you into the EdTech sector? So I've always loved education ever since I was a little girl. Actually, I always wanted to be a teacher. And uh, when I was in university, one of the struggles I had was finding a thermodynamics tutor. Uh, and when I found a very good tutor, and he would uh, tutor me for a one hour session, uh, after that, he was never available. I'd have to wait till my next uh, session with him to be able to ask him a question. So the concept was, okay, if we were able to order cars on demand or food on demand, why couldn't we ask uh, tutors on demand? So this is where our first product uh, started, which is uh, called the Disney, which is an on-demand tutoring application. This is mainly geared towards students in the Middle East. And we started this four years ago. Now we have over half a million students with 500 tutors on the platform connected to the students. We connect uh, students to teachers within uh, 60 seconds, uh, 24 hours a day. So this, is, uh, this was our first product and our start into the EdTech journey. Then when we started uh, looking at the, uh, the gaps in the industry, we realized that there's so much more that we could do within the EdTech industry. And what we like to, uh, one of the things that you, you mentioned uh, on your guest platform is pre-K to, to gray. Where do you find yourself uh, or what do you cater to? So what we like to say is we want to have a spectrum of services to service the pre-K to gray. And our other product that we came out with was uh, is called Bounce, which is a learning management uh, system and a whole ERP, I'd like to say, for uh, nurseries. That includes communication, uh, student information management, uh, parent communication, accounting. So a simple system that uh, preschools and early learning can use. And then uh, came our last product, which is now Edmeet, which caters to uh, K-12. And it, is, it brings in all the, the nice features that students loved about the Disney, which was that it was mobile first, uh, that it felt like everything they're used to using, which is WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram, and, and putting that together into a, uh, into a system for schools that becomes the bridge between their students, their online learning, and their current LMSs. Brilliant. I mean, it sounds like you've got a real spectrum of products there. Um, you've mentioned several of them, Dars, Darcini, Bounce, and the latest one being Edmate. Um, what inspires these products? It's always what our users need and what the gaps in the market are. So we always like to say we don't like building features for the sake of building features. We really understand what is the pain point of the user and to build a feature on that. Our head of product always says, you know, uh, someone says uh, they need coffee, but what they m might actually need is sleep. And this is where we come in to really understand and find out what our stakeholders need, whether they're teachers, parents, or students, because they might say they need something when what they actually need is something else. And this is where we come in. And I think that's so important with products for the education market, that they really have to service a need that are looking for exactly and you know with with all industries uh, there are so many products that are uh, easy to use and uh, very dynamic and very user friendly why don't we have that for education education products why is you know technology and education always outdated in terms of user experience you know just because the school yeah. is obliged to use a system and the students are obliged to use it doesn't mean that it can't be user friendly and I think that's a great, um, a great model, you know, not looking at sort of products in a silo according to, to where they fit in and actually taking learning across the board, so taking inspiration from other fields. Exactly. Um, so a bit more about um, how is it different from other LMS in the market? So uh, in the office, we actually like to say that we are the un-LMS. We are not an LMS. We are not a complete school management ERP. What we are is we are bridging the gap between 
uh, current LMSs and online learning and communication. So we like to call it the, the one-stop shop where it's, so it's as it, when students go to, to physical school, they're in the classroom. But when they are online, there's, there isn't a place where they can enter and they're actually in the class. You know, the, the video conferencing is again a tool within this, this subset. So this is where Edmate comes in, where students go in and in the system, they're now in school. So they can find everything they need. They can look at their schedules. They can uh, uh, communicate, see anything that's upcoming, uh, launch their, their, their classes all within this uh, one-stop shop. Brilliant. And how do you think EdMate will help schools? Um, if you had to talk about the most crucial feature about EdMate, what, what would that be? So definitely it is uh, bridging the communication as well as uh, user adoption. Uh, we know that uh, it's very difficult to have teachers uh, use new systems and the easier it is uh, on them to use it, the easier it is for a school to adopt the system and the faster they will see the results or, or the ROI on any system they're using. As well as visibility for parents, this is very important. Uh, one of you know the setbacks of online education that schools were thrown into, especially schools that weren't prepared for this, is that parents, it was very difficult for parents to keep track of what was going on. And we know that hybrid learning might actually be the future of education now. So we're looking at how a system can make sure that all stakeholders are up to date with everything that's going on in the school day. And this is exactly what EdMate's about, whether it's a teacher, the school admin, students and parents, Everybody knows what's going on. Uh, everybody's up to date and everything can be done within a click of a button. Brilliant. Um, and what you've obviously spent a lot of time thinking about EdMate and developing it. And I guess you, you learned lessons based on some of your other, other products like Darasini and can you talk me through that a bit? Yes. Um, so Darasini, our... Uh, people really loved about it was uh, the instant gratification, the concept that I could ask a question and within seconds I'm connected to a tutor who can help me answer that. And this is this is a feature that we're also introducing into EdMate, where schools can allow teachers to give instant and on-demand help to uh, students. What, uh, uh, what students really like about the Disney as well is, again, that it's very easy to use the interface, the usability. And this is something we have adopted uh, uh, into EdMate and with Bounce um, because it is a B2B product we work on uh, SaaS uh, cloud-based system so software as a service so any new features or updates that are rolled onto the product are rolled out to all our clients and this is something we realized that uh, uh, the clients that we're working with love because you know uh, they know what's in the product roadmap they know what's coming up it isn't a, a, a single uh, we don't have to do uh, single instances of development for each uh, client. And this is, again, this is the future of, of software. So we adapted that mechanism uh, into EdMate. Great. Um, so what were some of the biggest challenges you faced with EdMate um, and how did you navigate these? So with EdMate, the I want to say the most difficult part was that we were thrown into it immediately. And actually what started EdMate was that schools started approaching us wanting to use the RISNI for schools. And we realized that um, we need more layers to allow uh, teachers and school admin to have access to all of this. And this is uh, kind of what, uh, what bred uh, EdMate. And what was difficult was, okay, how can we develop all of this in such a short span of time? And how do we collect user information and, and user research? Because, again, we don't like developing features just for the sake of developing them. What we really want to do is understand uh, their, their pain points, the different pain points of the stakeholders. So doing that during COVID when teachers were so busy scrambling with uh, trying to get by with, uh, with their uh, school day was, was a bit difficult. But... Um, We've gotten there in a few months. Uh, we launched. Uh, we launched Edmate. It it sounds like, you know a lot of companies have had to adapt to the current situation quite quite quickly with the way things un unfolded with the the pandemic. Do you think that's true for for your company as well? Of course, of course. Um, I mean, with any with any technology company, you always have to be agile. 
and you know pivoting is not uh, uh, is not wrong as long as the strategy and the vision are there and this is something we always uh, adapt uh, with the team that uh, we're okay to pivot our business model we're okay to pivot uh, our strategy as long as the vision is clear and we know what what we're getting to Great. And you've obviously had a lot of experience within the ed tech sector. What do you think are some of the upcoming trends? Do you see any major evolutions coming? Definitely hybrid learning. Um, I really think this is going to be something that not only schools might be, uh, you know, forced to, to adopt. Like for example, in Saudi Arabia, uh, the government, the Ministry of Education announced that uh, schools will never go back to pure physical learning that we have to move into this hybrid world and not only will will, will they be mandated to do that but hybrid learning might actually be a cost effective solution for education so this might be the future trend of education that now that education is accessible anywhere and any time we have to adapt to those trends i think that's the only way really to to sort of to run a business now and I think you know that's certainly I think smart companies that's one of the learning experiences they've taken away from the from the last year exactly um so what <laughs> what is the one piece of advice you would give schools when they're selecting their LMS so um an LMS that offers everything doesn't exist and even if, if you know, they claim that they do that, it's, um, it's always better to find different uh, solutions that are specialized or different products because they do that one thing very, very good and or very well. Um, and this is what's important because when, when they work on a certain feature and they do it really well, that means the adoption is going to be much easier for, again, all the stakeholders in the school. So Edmate, for example, what we, what we didn't want to do is offer everything. And this is something that we really tried to stay away from, that we didn't want to make sure that we offered everything or that we're, we're uh, you know, a solution that has everything. We were, we, uh, what we do really well is the communication uh, part and making bridging the gaps between all systems a school uses. And because we excel at, at that, this is what is actually, you know, uh, grabbing schools' attention because we we specify on one on one feature or something that we we do really well so this would be my my advice to schools you know to, to look at what uh, what systems uh, work really well within certain features and then um, management learning management is different than actually measuring learning outcomes so schools always want one system that does both really well and does communication really well and, and that doesn't that doesn't exist yet Maybe one day. But I, I think you're totally right, you know, thinking about the systems that are best suit. And I think a lot of schools, um, you know, just because of the speeds to which everything happened, had to make decisions about software and um, systems very quickly. Um, so I think it's good that they have access to, to companies and products like yours um, that they can sort of perhaps that work best for them. And definitely, I'd always recommend going with SaaS uh, solutions uh, because with, with SaaS, you don't really have, you know, those change requests and you're not into a vendor lock. Uh, and with schools who go to software development uh, to create their own systems, they're stuck with it. They pay a really large amount and uh, anything they want to change, anything they want to add is a change request. There isn't a product roadmap that is shared among all clients and all prospects. Um, and any specific markets that you're starting with at the moment? Um, sort of, are there any sort of particular areas or, or institutions that you're you're targeting? And and how can schools subscribe to Edmate? So we're definitely looking at the Middle Eastern market because this is where we are based. We have uh, offices across the region as well as in North Africa and, and India, and. Uh, the demographic or the user behavior of this region is that they are very mobile first. Uh, they're not, they're users who don't usually use desktops, uh, unlike the West. And this is what we are focusing on. And this is what we excel at is, is mobile adoption and making sure our products are 
mobile first. We work on the mobile version first and then see how we can expand that into desktop uh, systems. And uh, schools can reach out to us. We have our, our website. They can book a demo and we'd be more than happy to take them uh, through the demo. Our team uh, would love to do that and show them uh, how it works and how we can hopefully make their lives uh, easier.